Hello friends, it is good to be here together with you today on this Friday. If you happen to be watching for the first time, I'm Reverend Lori Landon, one of the pastors at First UMC in Kirksville. I, it is hard to believe that we have been doing these weekday videos already since March. Uh, and I don't know about you, but that to me already feels like forever ago. It just is hard to believe. And so as I am ready to ask that question that I come back to every week, how is it with your soul? I realize that this week um, I've been thinking about the things that we take for granted in our lives. Those kind of things that you really only notice when something prevents you from doing them or they become painful. Um, and those can take all sorts of shapes. It might be that beautiful tree you drive past on your way to work or to the store until one day it's cut down. Maybe it's the ability to walk up and down the stairs easily until you get a knee injury that makes every step excruciating. Maybe it's that light that comes on with the flip of a switch until the power goes off. The person you assumed would always be there until a move or an argument or death means that they're not. Some of us have experienced that feeling of it's 11 p.m. and while you never go to the store at 11 p.m., you always knew that Walmart was open until suddenly during the pandemic, it closed at 8 p.m. And it can't even be things like the dirty socks that a kid kicks off in the middle of the floor. Because one day, the owner of those socks grows up and moves out. There are so many things that we take for granted that are parts of our daily life. And I know I've bumped into some of those memories over the past couple weeks as photos of things from last fall have come up. And while they bring a smile, they also make me a little bit sad because I'm seeing in them Things that I didn't really appreciate or even notice at this point last fall. It reminds me a little of a quote I read earlier this week. We live our lives forward, but we only understand them backward. And isn't that true that so often we really don't know how something will turn out until more time has passed? Those opportunities that seem like they're going to be the perfect fit and then they wind up disappointing us. And then there are those things that at the beginning we think this is awful. We grumble about them and somehow they turn out to be just right and exactly what we need. And so I've been wondering, what is it about this time that I will look back on and think, I did not realize what a gift that was. And I'm curious what I'll discover that I've been taking for granted without appreciating it and only realize it once life shifts again into what seems like a little more normal. Now, I'll be the first to admit, a lot of days it is so much easier to focus on the negative aspects of all these changes we've experienced. And I know that as we move into the holiday season ahead, um, it's going to look different. We've got the uncertainty of the election next week. We've got the weather growing colder, and it makes it harder to meet folks outside. There is so much that's unknown and uncertain. And there are days that makes gratitude hard to come by. But I'm challenged by another quote that I read this week that said, gratitude is the memory of the heart. And so I'm wondering, what are the things that I want to remember from these days of 2020. And that someday when I tell stories to grandkids I may or may not have, what will bring a smile to my face as I remember that? In addition to the stories of how tough things were. And I wonder if by trying to notice those things now, by giving thanks for those underappreciated things, Maybe I won't have to wait until they're gone to find their importance. 
And I'm also wondering if part of caring for my soul during these uncertain times is coming back to the simple things that I know I've been grateful for in the past. Those things that have been comforting companions during other times that have been challenging. Now those look different for all of us. For me, spending time reading books, taking long walks, maybe a warm bowl of soup or a cup of coffee, lighting a candle, taking time to sit in the quiet. Your list may look very different, but what are the things that have fed your soul before? And what are some ways you could enjoy some of those in this week ahead? And maybe think, what unnoticed part of life right now do you have a hunch you may actually be grateful for? Maybe think on these. And my prayer for us as we go into this week ahead is that God will open our eyes to all the good that is present in our lives, even in the midst of the challenges, and fill our hearts with gratitude to remember and encourage us with hope for the days ahead. So that's my prayer as we go into this week. May you be well. May you embrace those things that feed your soul. May you be on the lookout for those unnoticed things we take for granted. And have that time to simply take a moment to enjoy them in the middle of it. For me, these Fridays are a time that I have come to really enjoy. So thank you for being with me today, and I'll see you next week. Take care, friends.